there are some people who like to lie. And I decided to write a play to tell people that in this world, you cannot always go about lying. Introducing a playwright and a stage director, Kweku Andomensen. Kweku Andomensen has written and directed a number of plays. His writing career spans over 50 years. Some of his works have been published. Among them are Jester's Dilemma and Man of God. His philosophy for writing is to entertain and educate. He focuses on social problems. He also teaches playwriting and stage directing. Tell us, when did you start your dramatic career and what motivated you to write the play? I started my dramatic career in 1964. I had been elected by the president of uh, a senior body called uh, Sikanikatan Estate. I wanted to make a difference in the community. So I came out with a idea of writing a play to bring the community together, especially the parents and the students. So I wrote a, a play entitled Awonyuyum, meaning a real, child, a real child is one from your own loins. Uh, in other words, blood is thicker than water. Can you give us the synopsis? The play revolves ar around a, a father who neglected his own son and uh, sent his nephew to school. In other words, he chose to educate his nephew over his son. The wife and the son were angry, so they left the house. After some time, the father became very, very sick, and the nephew came from uh, school. The father asked the nephew to cook some food for him. And then the nephew said, the nephew said, I don't know how to cook. He said, but can't you prepare anything for me because I'm hungry? He said, did you retain me here so that I can become your servant? Don't you have your own uh, child? So this boy left. And the wife had a dream about the, uh, the husband. So she asked the, the son to visit the father. But the, the, the son refused. So I'm not going nowhere. My father didn't, did not take care of me. Why should I go? He said, but I have bad dream about him. So just go and visit him. After a long play, the boy agreed to go and visit the father. And when he went there, he found out the father was very, very sick and about to die. The boy had brought some food, so immediately he fed the, fa he fed, fed the father, and then he became uh, well. At that time, the father realized that blood is thicker than water. So he brought the wife and the son back home. How was the story accepted? Was it successful? Very, very successful. Actually, I did invite uh, the, Department, the, the, the Department of Art and Culture to come and see the play. Uh, this uh, agency of the government. And they were so enthralled that uh, they gave us some money. Uh, and uh, not only that, I was also asked to uh, uh, write a play for Second International uh, Trade Fair to be held in Accra on February uh, 1967. But unfortunately, I was not able to complete the play because of the time limit. However, I took the play to New York and produced it at the Brooklyn Academy of Music. What happened thereafter? Did you go on to write another play? Oh, yes. Uh, when I moved to New York, I started to write uh, many plays. Uh, one of them was a uh, man of God. Have you decided to become a playwright? What was the motivation to go into writing? When I was a boy, I became seriously ill. I thought I was going to die. 
So I pray to God that uh, if I recovered, I will offer my life to him. On recovery, I want to study for priesthood at uh, Emisano, St. Teresa's Seminary. Unfortunately, in a soccer match between the minor and major seminary, I uh, sustained an injury. So that ended my uh, goal of becoming uh, a priest. So I decided that once I was not able to become a priest, I would like to do something else for God. That's why I decided to become a writer. This way I can write about spiritual things to defend God and humanity. As a writer, what is your philosophy for writing? My philosophy of writing is to educate and entertain. I don't want to bore my audience by just writing. They also have to write in a way that they will be entertained. So what themes have you been addressing in your writings? I write about social problems. And specifically, it's about uh, forces around uh, man. Forces around man. What are you referring to? The Bible tells us that our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against authorities, against rulers, and against princip principalities. These are the forces that man has to contend with. Mention the themes of the forces of darkness and principalities. Can you enlighten us a bit on that? Yeah, uh, I'll just start on the forces of uh, authority. I was an employee in one of the shipping companies, and I fell in love with uh, one of the girls. That girl happened to be the manager's girlfriend. So one day, the manager called me into his office and asked me, is it true that uh, this lady is your girlfriend? And I giggled and left the office. The manager was angry and made any, every effort to get rid of me. But fortunately, my uncle became the managing director of the company and the manager himself left. Here, you see the manager using his power to suppress an employee. The manager was married. And if you are married, why do you have to also take a girlfriend from there? I was unmarried, so I was preparing to marry her. So this, uh, uh, the power that they have, that they, uh, they used to suppress us. How have you incorporated these themes in your story? In, uh, man of God which was set in 1950. We have uh, some witches in the play. And they are not fictions, but they are real. Because we Africans believe in witchcraft. From our experience as uh, uh, Africans, we know what these evil spirits can do to us. I have encountered uh, some of them. I'll tell a story. I, I, I consulted a spiritualist, and he told me that there were some forces who were trying to bring me down. And on, on, unless I do something about it, I will not live. I didn't believe it. A few days later, I was sleeping on my bed in the evening, about 12 midnight. And I saw the bed raised to the ceiling with my legs dangling above the fan. Immediately I became dizzy. So I called my senior brother to bring me my, my bag containing my medicine that could control the dizziness. My brother took a long time to locate the medicine. By the time he found the medicine, the bed had been lowered to its former position, and the dizziness also disappeared. 
Was that real? It's real. It's real. It's not a story. It's real. Was Jester's dilemma related to some of these conflicts? No, that's a, a comedy that I wrote. And uh, it's a moral piece. There are some people who like to lie. And I decided to write a play to tell people that in this world, you cannot always go about lying. One day, your lie will be so obvious that we will not be able to uh, cover it up. What was the motivation for writing Man of God? Man of God. I wrote a play to establish my faith in God. I have so much faith in God that I know that nobody can touch me. So I wrote a play to show my uh, faith in God. How do you do characterization? I draw my characters uh, mainly from close friends, relatives, and acquaintances. My characters are real. They are not fictional. Uh, I always try to write about things that you can, you can relate to. It appears your stories are true to life, and I'm aware that Man of God was set in the 1950s. Your mother died at the same time. Is there a connection? I was trying to write about my life. Uh, so I took my, the death of my mother and also other incidents that happened at the time. Uh, in Africa, when people die, they suspect that maybe evil forces were behind. That's why I wrote the play and also used witches to indicate our belief. I'm still writing. Actually, I have written a play. It's called The Devil's Temptations. And I, I'm, I'm co-producing the play with National Theatre of Ghana. I've also written another play. It's called Spare the Rod. Now, Spare the Rod is about uh, violence in school. Now, I decided to write this play because of what is happening in our schools, especially in America. I feel that something is wrong and that we, have, we should find a way to correct this. The last one, one is called The Bellious Generation. Uh, I wrote this play because I found that our generation is going astray. Things that we were taught by our forefathers don't hold anymore. I understand that uh, culture uh, changes over time, but I, I feel that we have gone astray. Oh yes, I have a place for television and the movies. I've written a, a screenplay for Man of God and Spare the Road, uh, which I'm sure very soon will be uh, filmed. Through film and television, Ghanaian audiences are exposed to foreign cultural influences. How do you intend to deal with some of these problems? I would like to first uh, establish a school where I can train uh, students how to write to the stage, TV, and the movies. Uh, by so doing, we should have a group of people who come together to write good plays to correct uh, this impact. Thank you.